Hey guys, this is for the sign of Virgo for December of 2021. All right, if this is your first time to my channel, welcome. If you are coming back, thank you for coming back. In this reading, you're going to get the message from Spirit. So I do read the cards intuitively. And also you're going to get some energy work to go along with the message. So energy work is simply just connecting your energy, which holds your thoughts, feelings, and emotions um, to a universal energy so that we can release any thoughts, feelings, or emotions that are keeping you back from what you want. And we're going to use the message today in order to do that kind of energy work. So stay tuned. I'll explain a little bit more as we get to it. Um, also, if you haven't, go ahead and hit the like button. Let me know that you are excited for this reading this month. Uh, excited to hear what spirit has to say. And let's get to it. Two more cards here, please. Okay. All right. So the overall energy here is the King of Wands. So I feel as though you're stepping up into a higher position, a higher power. Um, this could be you healing into the next level, but I do feel as though you're stepping up. Oh, please remember these are general. This is what I forgot. General readings. Take what re resonates. Leave what doesn't. Check out your moon and rising signs as well. So the King of Wands, again, stepping up into a different level. Um, there, I'm hearing like it's a whole new game. It's a whole new ball game. It's, it's like it, it's a different level of playing the game. Okay. Now, in the beginning of the month, you've got the Six of Swords, you have the Hierophant, and you have the Ten of Wands. So to me, this is about definitely letting something go. Um, <clears throat> with this Hierophant in the middle, this might be a specific message for some of you, but if you need to hear it, we're sharing it with you here. There might have been somebody that was higher up, okay? This might have been a parent, it might have been a teacher, a priest, somebody that had a higher status than you as a child or even as a teen for some of you I'm getting that took advantage of you in some way, okay? So take how that resonates however it is. And I think spirit here, because it's beautiful energy after this, but in the very beginning of December, this might be coming up for you again. The cosmic energy right around now, the new moon also in this week. So the new moon might be bringing this stuff up for you about, you know, again, somebody doing something to you that wasn't right and has, and you have been holding on to that for a very long time. Now, this is telling me that it's time to let that go. It's time to let that burden go, okay? And I know that's harder said it's easier said than done, um, but through energy work, so we might be working on that today with our energy releasing. Um, but you can see she's kind of like dragging the swords and then she just lets go. And then you've got the higher font here and then the 10 of wands is about a heaviness, it's about letting a burden down, a burden that's not yours. <clears throat> so yes, this was done to you. However, um, it's about letting go. <clears throat> and I don't teach forgiveness. Sorry, guys, I'm a little sick. <clears throat> I don't teach forgiveness, especially when someone takes a piece of your soul. So this is about letting it go because it's letting it go for you. It's not about, it's about accepting that it happened to you and using that to move forward into a more, again, King of Wands type of way, a more powerful way. Use it to fuel you instead of bring you down, okay? Let that burden go. All right, <clears throat> in the middle of the month, we've got the Two of Wands, we've got the Lover's card, and the Nine of Pentacles. So I do feel in the, in the middle of the month here, you might have a choice to make, uh, two different ways that you could go. And you've got the Lovers with the Nine of Pentacles, so this is actually contradictive to me because the Lovers is a, is a union, and then the Nine of Pentacles for me is the single card. So this is telling me that there might be a, a romantic connection here that you might choose to, you might have on the plate for you, okay? But you also have the choice of being single. So understand and ask yourself, is this something you really want? Um, they're also showing me that if there is somebody coming in for you, that it actually, you might, um, you might entertain the idea because the other person wants it so bad. Like maybe they are um, courting you 
and you kind of like are giving into it. But we ask you to just take a step back and evaluate these different positions. Like, do you want to be in a partnership uh, or do you want to be independent? And again, this could be love. It could be business related. It could be, um, you know, friendship, that kind of stuff as well. Um, there could be somebody coming back asking you to be in the relationship again. And again, just evaluate, take your time to see if this is something that you want um, or it's not, okay? The lover's card to me also is about a connection to your higher self. So if you are um, spiritually awakening or choosing to dive into like um, deeper spirituality with connecting to your higher self, connecting to psychic abilities and stuff like that. Just evaluate and just kind of really speak into your soul as to what you really want because you've got at the end of the month, the six of pentacles, the nine of cups and the four of pentacles. Um, so with this, I'm going to say no matter what you choose to do here, just make sure it's your choice, not somebody else's. Uh, don't make decisions based on other people's wants or opinions of what they think you should be doing. Don't even ask people. Let that come from within, okay? Because you got the six of pentacles, which is about walking your own path. So doing what you want to do. And that's what this is about. That is what is going to bring you to this king of wands energy. And you've got the wish card here for the nine of cups. So your wish is coming true. And I feel as though the decision that you make here is going to allow you to even grow. Now, really quickly, what they are showing me is that this, um, when you let down this burden here, when you let this go, things are going to start to come forth for you because whatever you've been holding on to, our energy holds that, and we're not vibrating at the we're not vibrating at the vibration or at the level that whatever we're trying to bring into our life is. So therefore, when you let this go up here, you're going to be able to manifest quickly and whatever this wish is, when you choose you, when you accept yourself, when you let go of the things that have happened in the past, that is when things are going to come in. Now, there might be a wish coming in for you, but you might not trust it at first because you got the four of pentacles and you can see she's holding on to her pentacles very, very tightly because she doesn't want to let them go. So I'm just going to go ahead and clarify this card. What is the lack of trust about? Page of Cups. Yeah, so this is just your ego. This is your mind, your human mind talking, telling you that, oh, this, this isn't right. This isn't safe. Um, but it's really with the Page of Cups. It's just meditation. Just quiet the brain. Quiet the thoughts. Uh, whenever these thoughts start to come in, just let them go. Uh, notice them. Be aware of them. But then just tell yourself, nope, it's okay. It's sa I'm safe. Everything is okay. Um, don't let those thoughts win is what I'm getting. And definitely meditation, uh, nature, music even will help you distract those thoughts. Yeah, again, Ten of Wands, again, very clear sign here with put down your burden. So what burden are you carrying? And we'll do some energy work around that. Two of Cups, a partnership, a union, teamwork there, and then the Chariot moving forward, the Inspired Warrior. So I do feel as though there's a big shift coming for you this month. I feel as though you're going to step up into the next level of you when you let this go. And I have to take a deep breath in because the energy that I'm feeling with this is that you do not understand the impact of what you're holding on to from this, how it's impacting your life substantially. And when you let it go, you're going to see things open up completely for you. And you're going to finally recognize how much that's been holding you back in every area of your life. And that's the thing. When we go through things in our childhood or in our past, like that stuff that we're holding on to is affecting every area of our lives. Relationships, business, money, friendships, family life, peace and happiness, our mental stuff, like everything, our religious, everything. It's affecting everything. All right, uh, let's go ahead and get the question of the month. I will be pulling some more cards through the energy work, so just stay tuned. 
What is the question? How can I deepen my trust right now? And it says, trust, surrender. Let go of the wheel. You can trust. You can trust yourself. Trust fully in yourself so that you can deepen your trust in others. Trust creates safety. And when we feel safe, we feel unstoppable. Today's soul action, let go and trust. Today, find your center in the chaos and be certain with yourself so you can deepen your trust in others. Whatever this is up here, what you've been holding on to, that's going to affect the trust in yourself and the trust in others. We go through this in my From Pain to Power Academy about trusting. Trusting is the trust wound. So if you've you know, been betrayed in the past, if you've been cheated on in the past, if you've been lied to in the past, then your you have a trust wound, okay? And we got to release the energy around that. So let go and trust. Um, and it's so easy to say. But when you work with the energy, it's actually easy to do. <laughs> so, um, you know, it's like, oh, well, okay, sure. I'm just supposed to trust people now. Well, no, you got to do some work to get there. You got to change the beliefs that every the, these situations have caused. And you've got to release the energy around the events that caused the trust wound. Okay. All right. So let's go ahead and do some energy work here. All right, so go, all I'm gonna do is connect your energy to a universal energy to release any trapped blockages or emotions that are you're holding onto. And we're gonna use the top row here in the beginning of this month happening right now around the new moon that we're doing this. And even if you're watching this in the future, it's okay. Uh, it'll still work. There is no time or space with energy. Um, but we're gonna, I want you to think about this burden that you've been holding onto for so long. And let's go ahead and do some uh, breath work and some energy releasing to let this go, all right? So go ahead and just close your eyes and go ahead and take a deep breath in. And go ahead and let it out. And take another deep breath in. I want you to think about that burden that you're carrying. I want you to imagine it in your heart chakra right now, right in your heart. Go ahead and let that breath out. As we release the energy around this event that you're thinking of, Go ahead and take another deep breath in. And when you blow it out, I want you to blow it out like you're blowing out all that negative energy. Go ahead and blow it out. Just channeling some energy through spirit. Ashkalavete, we ask you to let it go. Shakalavete, all that anger, all that resentment, let go. Shakalavete, shakalavate mosareveke, ashkalavate mosheke, shalavate mosareve, ashkalavete, be free of it. Shakalavete, ashkalavete, ashkalavate ki sarava, ashke, shalavate ki, ooh, ace of wands. Shakalavete, shalavate mosareve ki, ashkalavate ki. One more deep breath in. And just go ahead and blow it out. Whew. All right, give your body a nice stretch here and you can open your eyes. I hope that was good for you. Please give me a thumbs up on this video if it was, uh, if you enjoyed that. We've got the Ace of Wands that comes out. This is what I'm saying. There's going to be such a brand new awakening, beginning, when you open your eyes to what is happening and when you let go of that burden, the nine of wands, this is a promotion. This is again, leveling up. You are leveling up this month. If you choose to, this is the thing. If you choose to hold on to the burden, the leveling up is not happening. If you choose to let go of the burden, this is when you're going to level up. So it is your choice. We always have free will and we've got the Knight of cups and you can see that the night is coming towards all of this. So I just want you to know that there is such a brightness in your future. Um, all it takes is to let go of the past. And I know, like I said, that's harder said than done, but you can check out my channel with some energy healings and all of that um, to really get you through this and to allow you to let go so that you can be happy, so you can bring in the wish and be yourself and accept yourself for who you are. 
All right, that is what I have for you today. I wish you all the best. Go ahead and hit the subscribe button. And if you guys haven't heard, I have my book out. It's not you, it's your energy. If you wanna learn about energy, learn how to heal your energy, learn about all your energy centers in your body so that you can really understand it and work with your energy. This is only on a holiday special, 99 cents on Amazon. Okay, it's not you, it's your energy. I'm wishing you much love, uh, best holidays, and I will talk to you guys soon. Bye.